Your Majesty, do you see these dilapidated houses? This is all that remains of the Great Oakendorf. The great peacekeeper of the city council, who now appears little more than a battered old soldier, has informed us that goblins have invaded the city. An emergency meeting of the board of goblin control had scarcely gotten underway when a racket in the streets caused it to be postponed. The council moved to the suburbs and a meeting is currently in progress. They have already determined that, firstly, the goblins are a threat, and secondly, Something really must be done about the whole matter. It is time to show these unfortunate citizens the strength and dedication of their great king. Allow them another glimpse of your boundless benevolence, and one more reason to reconsider whether they actually need those bumbling incompetents on the city council. Build seven dwarven towers, sire, and protect what remains of the city. We must proceed with the construction of the Dwarven Tower, sire. As you know, Dwarves must oversee the construction, for only they can ensure the proper observance of all ordinances and building codes. So the first thing to do is construct a Dwarven settlement.
completed, and it's absolutely unbelievable. In addition to the usual services that the dwarves provide, they have also presented you with a considerable amount of gold. I had quite forgotten that the dwarf of hatred of goblins is even greater than their greed. As I understand it, the dwarves plan to transfer an additional sum to your coffers, but according to their ancient laws, you must first purchase something from them. I propose we procure the stone incantation spell. That's bound to prove useful at some point. Your Majesty, not far from here a portal was found from which goblins appeared. By cleverly employing the residual luminescence of magical elementary particles and applying the criteria of Merlina Lavoisier, I was able to determine to a certainty that this portal was indeed created by a goblin shaman. To be precise, by a shaman in his early 40s, short, with a limp, his right leg, I believe, and an upper left incisor of pure gold. Oh, and I almost forgot. He also has a scar on the side of his nose. But how might he have come by such magic? Remember, sire, only the gods themselves can create such portals. And amongst mere mortals, well, only the twice-dead Lich King has ever... What? Oh, I do beg your pardon, sire. Of course, you need not stand by, twiddling your thumbs whilst I theorize. It is far easier to destroy a portal than to create one. I'm sure you can handle the matter perfectly, my lord. Oh, your majesty. upon the enemy even as we speak. Our good citizens may now stand firm against the threat. Moreover, the city council in their... Sire, shame on me! Why ever did I not think of this before? A goblin shaman opening portals. Of course, he could not create such magic himself. Your Majesty, we are not dealing with a renegade clan of goblins.